Okay, this is the character that we're going to do um, Fiber Mash on. And he was created in ZBrush only. He, I started off with Z Spheres and then just sculpted him. And then I used Transpose Master to put him in a pose. So, um, you can see here if I put Polyframe on Shift F and go down in Subdivisions tool geometry down you can also use shift d for down and d for up um he doesn't have any you know good facial topology but i figured i was going to uh, render this character in zbrush and it's a still frame so i don't really need topology or good topology then um if he was going to be in a production you know, animated kind of stuff, it would be a completely different story. But I mean, you can always do topology later if you want to. Okay, um, we're going to start off by doing polygroups on this character. And why is that? Yes, it's because um, when you grow fiber mesh on him later on, um, the fiber mesh will inherit the same polygroups as the general you know the original mesh so uh, we're gonna do a group here 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 you know basically just separate all the limbs and the reason why we're doing that is uh, when we come to the fiber mesh we can isolate certain parts like the fur on the arm like this and we can just isolate that and work on just the fur on the arm and you know ignoring the rest and that is a great way to work because you don't have to worry about you know this kind of uh, stuff where it's you know very tight and you know um and maybe you want to use a big brush and you don't want to happen to go over the body with the with the grooming while you're working on the arm so uh, let's get started um First off, we're going to set some hotkeys. And you set a hotkey basically with every button. You can do any button. You just press down Control, Alt, and click the button, and then press down the uh, the keystroke that you want to be the hotkey. So hide points, that's one. Control, Alt, press it, and press H. And what it does is basically, if you have a part masked off and you press H, you just isolate that invisibility. And then we have um, the plus and minus, and that is basically, if I do that again, if I pre press plus, shows more, minus shows less. So uh, control alt, press grow, press plus, control alt, shrink, and minus and you know i have set so many on my own hotkeys so i really don't keep track anymore which is the default and which is mine so if that is default you don't have to worry um we have one more let's see uh yeah group visible and basically what that does is if you have a part hidden and you press this you make a new polygroup out of that part so you got one polygroup here and one polygroup here and I mean polygroups are great because you can just easily isolate them um, so let's set that hotkey control alt click and shift G that's what I use um, so let's go over the masking tools you got um what you start off with is the mask pen just control um, start with holding down control then you can paint on the model and if you press h or press this button hide points that's the only part of the model that you're showing so um i'm going to use mask lasso a lot though now we're going to check out the select lasso and you will probably store that one okay so the select tools it's control shift 
and then you drag out and you got this rectangle if you start with the default and basically what ends up inside the green rectangle will be isolated in visibility there we go okay and you can invert this visibility by holding Control, shift and drag outside the geometry Oop, just like that and if you hold on Control, shift and just click once everything shows so uh, you can also do Control, shift alt and drag no it's the alt um, button that changes if you're gonna you know just show this or hide it poof okay you still got that invert selection going on so now we're gonna start just polygroup and polygrouping these different parts start off with the ears and yeah now the plus and minus comes in handy let's see yeah, I'm going to change that to Vaso. And then press Shift G just to group it. Oh, new polygroup. Nice. Oh yeah, there's one more too uh, that I didn't discuss with you. It's the um, transpose masking. It's it's an awesome tool. Basically, what it does is it masks off my uh, topology continuity. So you can see here, if you just go up here to move, or just press W, you will see that this transpose line is visible and if you hold down control as well together with the transpose line you get that transpose line masking thing that's handy you know where where you got this arm sticking out and you you can't use a uh, mask lasso really effective because you know shows that part too um and then you can use transpose masking and also you invert your mask with just control clicking the document just inverts it so i'm just going to hide the arm there and uh, grow the visibility As you can see, I don't intend to uh, <laughs> render this model from the backside. I mean, it's supposed to be his tail, and you're supposed to think it's attached to him, but it's not. Oh yeah, that's one thing. The uh, the select lasso. If you if you hold down Control Shift and press on an edge, you get this edge loop hiding, and that's might not be what you want. So you can always change it back to select rectangle, and you won't have that you know uh, that feature. So, um, that's basically all the polygroups. Nice. Yeah. So, don't forget, let's save the uh, tool and also you might want to go up in the preferences and just, you know, store the hotkeys.
Yes. Store. <laughs> 